Alright, this is the epic race between the E-Crafter and the ENV 200. Oh yeah. So here we have Pavel or Pavel. Yeah, Pavel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we will have a race today from Oslo only to Shell Koppang. That's far enough. Only. Only. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and back again. And um, I will be driving the E-Crafter. Pavel will be driving uh, ENV 200. Yeah. Thank you for getting those cars, it's awesome. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, uh, um, the thing is that my e-craft is so thirsty, but your car rapid gates. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it should be, yeah, some of even, yeah. Yeah. So, we are a little bit late now because I forgot that one piece for the, the whole phone holder for the live streaming. But I think it's a good idea that we run a little bit late because we yeah. want to avoid uh, rush hour yeah. charging. Yeah, and now the sun is up. Oh, yeah, everything's nice. Beautiful weather. <laughs> and uh, as usual, uh, maximum 10 kilometers per hour over the speed limit. Yeah. But we have to drive slow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And mine only goes at 90 kilometers per hour. <laughs> so, um, and uh, drafting is allowed. Yeah, okay. So. I mean, if you have to, you can even drive behind me. <laughs> yeah, I can drive inside your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want uh, us. So, um, I think that's it. The rule is almost no rules. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, let's get ready. Get going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are ready to go. We just topped up at IKEA on a fast charger, and uh, we made a little intro. And Bjorn is filming a little bit. My car is uh, charged up to 97%. And um, yeah, we are going for uh, Kopang this time. It will be it will be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been charging to 100%. Well, it's close. It's about 98, 97%. That's close enough. So I'll be riding this thing. It's oh, it's so much more comfortable than uh, the EMV 200. I have so much space. We have three seats. Live stream is uh, up and running, and Powell is over there. He's down there. <laughs> so uh, let me just reset the trip meters, and then off we go. All right, we are on the move. Yeah, Powell is right behind me. Let me show you here. There. Yes, he's drafting on me. <laughs> so uh, he shouldn't drive too fast because then he will rapid gate eventually. So he's just staying behind me, but eventually we will split up. So um, nice weather today. Wow, it's so nice. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to uh, waste too much energy driving. Yeah, my consumption so far is 370. But we just started, so we have to see. Eventually, I'm, I'm aiming for about 300 watt up kilometer. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not too high. Uh, yeah, so just enjoy the ride. Shit, Pavel is going for the kill. Ah, he's so much more nimble than me. Ah, yeah, he can technically drive faster than me. Well, but <laughs> enjoy the fun because eventually you're going to rapid gate. <laughs> Uh, see, he can drive at 140 kilometers per hour if he wanted to. Huh? See, I'm already doing 95 on the speedometer. It can't go faster. Oh, come on! Oh. Wow, he looks so small. <laughs> oh, nice weather today. It's perfect weather for a race. Oh, way better than last time we had a race. noisy part of uh, E6. This is where we have uh, concrete and you know the 
the Volkswagen is, is, it has so nice soundproofing. I measured it yesterday. It's so quiet compared to the ENV 200. <laughs> so the ENV 200 is just so noisy right now. And here, ah, oh, it's so quiet. Uh, right now, I'm so, I'm happy that I'm in the E Craft rather than the ENV 200. Right, we are now at Nemedes. I have my first charging stop here. I'm, I came at 52% and I didn't want to risk it because uh, the next one is somewhat occupied. But you see, now this is safe for me. I can take up two stalls without... Uh, you yeah, see, the two other stalls are still available. So <laughs> um, I have to keep going to places where we have two, two or more stalls available. So um, uh, the e-crafter, just like the e-golf, charges fastest to 80%. Yeah, so that's my strategy. Charge to 80%, whereas Powell, he needs to charge to about 70, 75%. It already tapers at uh, 65 for him. So, quick stop here, I go to the restroom, and then off we go again. All right, great news. I just checked the charger. I'm charging at 38 kilowatts, and uh, we have some tailwind, so I've been getting pretty good average. And so I feel confident that I can drive at almost 90 kilometers per hour on the way north. And then on the way, if we have headwind, then we have to take it easy. But as long as we have tailwind, then we should just ride on the tailwind and get there faster. Yeah, so now we have the charge to 80%. It's 80% um, is roughly around here-ish. So I found out that one line is about 6%. So. When we have three lines left, that, that's around 80%. But I can look at the screen, and yeah, the screen is way more accurate here, yeah. We are soon passing uh, s -Bahn. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to charge here, but I decided to go further to the yep. charge. move again and uh, so I charge to 80% but it seems like 80% is a bit slow so next time I will time that the time it takes from 75 to 80% because I suspect that maybe this car throttles faster for some reason I'm not sure but uh, this truck just pulled in front of me <laughs> right when I enter the highway so he seems to be driving pretty fast anyway so I will just stay behind him drafting is allowed so yes we'll do use all the dirty tricks Powell is so far in front of me right now. You can see it here on glimpse. He, oof, man, but I mean, yes, he's far ahead, but he's also running low-ish on juice. So I just juice up to 80%. So um, yeah, <laughs> the race is still on. Um, I'm not sure how fast he's driving, but I hope it, he rapid gates faster than I expected. <laughs> That's the only way I can have a slight chance to win. It's for him to charge slower than me. Wow, look at this weather. Not a single cloud in the sky. I have a little bit of tailwind. There is a musn over there. Uh, the temperature is uh, minus three degrees Celsius. Really good driving conditions. Seems to be way better driving conditions than the day I tested the E-Crafter a couple of days ago. And look, uh, only 286 watt type of glover at 90 kilometers per hour. I don't know what the heck happened uh, last time. Maybe it was a snow on the roof. <laughs> but this is good consumption. 288. Ooh. And now Pavel is averaging 210. So I might have a chance to beat him. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> oh, great. We just stopped for our first charge uh, on the way to Kopang. We are at uh, Löten. It's a charge at Löten. Uh, <laughs> and the other stall is occupied, so mm, I don't think uh, he will be moving anytime soon because his state of charge is at 28%. So I guess he's gonna stay here for a while. Um, I think Björn wanted to charge here as well. And there comes another car. Hmm, interesting. But the ENV 200 so far. 
real nice drive. Yeah, it's comfortable. Uh, the range seems to be good, you know. I drove here 116 kilometers and the gum says 61 left. So I guess you can uh, easily drive for 150 kilometers with this car in, uh, on, uh, in the winter. Yeah. It's a little bit noisy in the cabin, but beside the noise, it's a really nice car. So awesome that we could uh, borrow this one from Nissan. <laughs> we are at the Circle K Charger here at, I don't know what it's called, but we have Coop and we have um, Circle K over there. So this is pretty cool because I can park from behind and I can plug in from behind. And we have two Gurren Kotox fast chargers here and we have two more at uh, Circle K. So I think this is a really good spot for me on the return. Yeah. So uh, I came here with 42%. I need to charge to either 75 or 80%. So again, so many stops, I drive 35, 40 kilometers and stop again. But I literally, I want to drive, drive it down to about 10% before I plug in. So yeah, but all right, let's uh, wait then. All right, we just left the fast charger. We are hammering it still at 90 kilometers per hour. Yes, uh, temperature is now minus 2.5. Still good, uh, nice weather. Consumption is high, but it will stabilize and uh, Pavel just left Lurten. He's about half an hour ahead of me and he's fairly high charged. He's probably charged to about 70%. I'm charged to uh, 77. How the heck am I supposed to beat him now? <laughs> well, I have to hope that he will rapid gate soon. Maybe on the next one or the, that. Yeah, he will rapid gate on the next or, or in two chargers. Then that's the only way for me to beat him. <laughs> Wow, look at this wonderland, <laughs> nice, winter wonderland, yeah, we're still in February, ah, I get the, like, I get the feeling of uh, Easter coming soon, the days are getting longer, temperatures rising, yeah, I want it to be spring soon, okay, Lurton, so Lurton's coming up, now, uh, according to Glimpse, we have one charger available, one is charging, so, I cannot plug in there, I need more space, so, if there could be a five minute delay, uh, I will check once I drive past. If it's still occupied, then I have to gamble for the next one, which is uh, at uh, Elverum. But they only have one charger there. Okay, we are at Schellöten. <laughs> I'm at 52%. And uh, there's a soul charging here, but I was able to plug in here. Oh, <laughs> perfect. We even have some space for the soul to open the door. Look. And I also didn't scratch the cable too much, so now I know on the return that if it's available, then I will grab it. Oh, I need this juice. And I learned from the previous stop that I have to stop at 50, uh, 75%. Yeah, that's when I charge the fastest. All right, the heat is on, the race is on. Okay, we are on the move again. <laughs> you know, I learned that this car starts to throttle past 70%. It will throttle from, it seems to get the fastest speed all the way to 70% and then it throttles to about 35 kilowatt uh, and then at 75% it drops to 30 kilowatt. So that is really important info. So I might go for 70% and it's just charge more often because those 5% doesn't really mean anything for me. I always arrive now, every time I always arrive with, with uh, you know, uh, 50% or whatever. So yeah, let's try to go to 70 every time then. We are cruising with and V200. On the way to Evenstar. Yeah. We will charge at uh, Evenstar or maybe at Coppa. We'll see how many kilowatt hours I have left um, in Evenstar. So, so far so good. Still in live streaming. I had to change the phone to another phone. And, uh, yeah. Everything goes smooth. We are now in Elverum. I have uh, over 60% left. Yeah, we can just go for Elverum. Oh, uh, yeah, some traffic. Oh, Pavel is about half an hour ahead of me. How the heck am I supposed to catch him now? 
no idea. Oh, okay. I hope once he replicates that he replicates so bad. <laughs> uh, but I heard that his temperature is still 15 degrees Celsius only. That active cooling is making wonders for, for the charging speed. So it seems like on the next charging session he will still get 45 kilowatt. What? We are getting closer to uh, Kopan. Yeah, we have some 20 kilometers left. 22 kilometers, I think. Look at this view. We'll never get tired of this. And the car is just yeah, perfect. We are getting close to Irena. I've been stuck behind some slow pokes. Yes, some slow Norwegians. They are driving uh, about uh, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour under the speed limit. That's what Norwegians like to do. But anyway, uh, I'm now two kilometers away from the, the fast charger and I heard from the live stream that one of the chargers uh, occupied. That can be risky for me to go there as I might not be able to plug in but um, this is I don't have other, other options Gom says I have 39 kilometers of range left and we are about 45 kilometers away from uh, the next one again which is Evenstad so I have to charge here I have no other option and charging on AC is not an option because it's too slow 7.4 kilowatt only so we have to see how it goes over there uh, at this fast charger we are now at Reno, and again, super lucky. Um, there was a leaf here, but I was able to plug in. Oh, so I'm using up, I arrived with 34%. So now I need to charge up to about 70, I think. Yeah. So, fortunately for me, the ABB charger was uh, available. And the ABB chargers have longer cable than the, the tritium charger, so, yeah. Wow, that was super lucky. So let's see here. Uh, 36%, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. And that was, that was super lucky because this leaf was not parked. In, what the heck? She was parked like this bad parking. And you see, there's there's like nothing here. She, she, could, have par she could have parked more straighter than this, so. That was lucky for me, yeah, my awesome van man driving skills. So, uh, just a quick stop, I guess. Uh, I don't feel like going to the restroom yet. And uh, let me show you something else here. Oh shit, okay, let me see. Oh. Uh, I can even open the door, kind of. If I just move this cable a little bit, then I can open the door. <laughs> but then I can, if I open the door, uh, then I cannot. Then I had trouble uh, getting out and in and out and stuff, so yeah, all right, uh, short stop, as usual, very stressful. Ooh. Look at that view. Now I want to go all the way to Trondheim. <laughs> all right, I arrived here at Shell Kopang with uh, 12% the charger said 12% to the charge the spy uh, leaf spy said something else but the charger said 12 uh, it was approximately 4.8 kilowatt hours left uh, in the battery so uh, we are getting a charging speed of 33 kilowatts so that's a little bit lower than uh, last time so I guess uh, I guess the battery is pretty hot. I can't see the temperature on the leaf spy. Uh, for some reason, it shows the highest temperature at 15.2 degrees and the lowest 12.7. It was this way since I left Oslo. So I don't know if I can trust that. But anyway, 
we are charging uh, 33 kilowatts, so it's not that bad. Bjorn is behind, somewhere over there. He will come here and charge uh, here as well. <laughs> okay, I'm at 72%. I'm about to leave soon. I'm, I will leave in just a minute, but I heard on the live stream People are saying that Powell is charging at 34 kilowatt. He's rapid gating already at his second charging stop. He needs to charge at least two more times or wait, or one more time, I'm not sure. But he's already rapid gating, so it means that the next charging stop will also be slow for him. Oh, I'm back in the game. But the problem is that he is about 45 minutes away from me. Oh, look at that. He's already charging on Koppang, the turnaway point. I'm still here. We have 60 kilometers there. Oh, let me prepare for departure. Yes, yes, okay, let's reset. We go here, settings. And that is really cumbersome. You have to go to instrument cluster and then reset since start, this one. Reset, okay. Let me unplug. All right, see over there, I have a USB stick. We are now at Evenstad, juicing up, so this is not a very desired place for people to stop, so I hog both stalls, but I don't, I don't need to charge it that long. Usually my stops are 15-20 minutes long, so I came here with 30%. I was planning on going straight to Koppang, but I, I had so high consumption, 350 for some reason. It could be because it's cold here, yeah, it's cold, it's minus 8 here. And suddenly my consumption went sky high and we are also going uphill so I didn't want to risk going to Koppang and I don't want to drive too slow so we juice up here it's safe yeah <laughs> not much to do here so it, this is uh, a somewhat weird place to have uh, a fast charger it's um, it's um, it's a college for uh, they do uh, about uh, it's about like uh, farming and stuff so it's a cool place, I guess, but a little bit inconvenient for people like me or someone to stop and charge here. So it, it should have been right by the highway at the gas station. And also, I needed to take a two minute detour here. So this detour cost me five minutes. All these charging stops cost me time. <laughs> so Powell only had, Powell is on his second charging stop. I'm on my fourth charging stop. So, um,. I noticed that it charges fairly fast from the bottom all the way to about 70 ish percent. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure what will happen. Um, I think I should charge with 75 percent. Then I drive to Koppang. I might charge there. If for some reason I can't charge at Koppang, then I would just turn around and come back here. Yeah, so that's. So then I should charge enough so I can take a round trip here because this one is less likely to be taken by anyone. So now this is getting interesting, you know. Uh, a leaf just arrived here at Kopang, and <laughs> Bjorn is getting close, and he have to charge here. But and there's a problem with this uh, charger, so this fellow over here uh, can get it started. But the good news is that I'm leaving soon because I have uh, my set of charge is at. 70 it's actually at 76 percent so i can leave now i'm just gonna pack everything and go all right now we are cooking look at this uh, i had to unplug the leaf spike plug over there and uh, yeah just turn it off and on again and then i get the correct temperature reading 45.4 degrees and uh, I should unplug now because I'm just wasting my time here. I'm at 80%, 23 kilowatts in charge speed, 
So yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Bjorn's on his way and, uh, and he's hungry. Oh shit. We are in deep shit now because I calculated the speed on the charger. Uh, we average only 35 kilowatt. Earlier it was around 38 uh, something close to 40 kilowatt. So now it seems like this car is also replicating. And now you might ask why the e-golf didn't replicate. Well the e-golf had half the consumption of this big ass van. So my consumption has been high, I've been fast charging a lot. And I've seen this in summer in the e-golf also when I hammer it. <sighs> So now I'm charging basically the same speed as Powell. Um, so I have to try to take it a little bit easy on the next one. Dr cruise a little bit slower and hopefully the rapid gate will ease off. If not, it will be even worse. I feel like I'm going to lose now, uh, but just the matter, it's just a matter of how many minutes I will lose. Will it be half an hour or will it be one hour? <laughs> we have no idea, but Powell is rapid gating, I'm rapid gating. The heat is on! <laughs> we just uh, started to drive uh, from Kopang. We are full charged to 81%. Enjoying the nice view. And we are cooking the batteries. Yeah! 43.9 degrees. Actually, it went down from 44 point something. So, we are slowly um, uh, down the temperature. Yeah. So, Bjorn is at Evanstar and he is cooking as well. Yeah. I heard from the chat, from the live chat. He is replicating. So, <laughs> this should be interesting. Look at this nice view. I have a feeling that I will soon see a guy I know. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, <clears throat> what's this? Temperature got down 42.6 degrees. Okay, go, go, go. All right, we are on the move. <laughs> I have to go to Copa. Pavel is Phil. Is he know he won? Look at that. His film. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I have lost big time. He's on the way back now. He has probably about 70-75% on his pack. I have 70% and I still have to go up there oh, and back again. Oh no. Uh oh, uh, it's uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius right now. I have to get out of this uh, coal hole. Uh, it's warmer down south. You see, consumption is really high. And it's also somewhat slippery because at minus 10, the salt is not doing much work again. So I um, have to take it easy, have a truck behind me. It's a much bigger truck than my car. Uh, and I also have to try to save energy. So this is going to be really hard for me. Ooh, Shell Kopang, the end station. Yes, I was so lucky. This one is available. Yeah, I only need to charge it for 10 minutes or so. I came here with 52% and I want to charge to 75. Yeah, and then I can skip Evenstad and go back to... Uh, uh, what was it again? Uh, well, the next one, I don't remember right now, but... Uh, good news, okay, good, good, good. So, let's go to the gas station, but <laughs> let me show you something. Uh, I just had to stop and plug in quickly. So right now, I cannot enter the car from here. <laughs> See? Ugh. Ah, so I have to enter from the other side, but whatever, I will go to the restroom then. Okay, there's some bad news. I checked the charging speed now. We are only getting 30 kilowatt. Ugh. My face palm, okay. 
because the consumption here was so high it was 300 and 330 something um, and we have been going uphill so uh, now the this car is also rapid gating uh, it's funny uh, but you know 30 kilowatt is not too bad I want to juice up still to get to about 70 75 percent and then I can avoid Evenstar because Evenstar was not good long detour I want to go back to Rena at least yeah but but I brought some food yes so we have some um, some um, turkey and eggs oh yes let's eat all right we're back on the road now yes now we turn back so we have done 222 kilometers and we have to drive another 222 back again oh, so Powell is about 40 minutes ahead of me right now yeah and um, what is it to say uh, I charge to eight oh sorry it's a bit noisy there uh, I charge you 80% just to be sure uh, I was getting 30 kilowatt on average but I heard on the live stream that Pavel, Pavel's pack is at 41 degrees Celsius if he would plug in right now at 41 he would get about 25 27 kilowatt so he's actually getting worse driving and worse charging speed right now but by the time he needs to charge then his pack will cool down and <laughs> Yeah, and I try to get faster speed than this. So um, the the battle is still on. The live stream is still following me. Yeah, it's not done yet. All right, Pavel is at the fast charge in Luton. He needs one more charging stop. He's 116 kilometers away from uh, IKEA, so he needs one more charging stop. But anyway, so this will be his second to last charging session. But I heard on the live stream that he's getting 28 kilowatt. His pack is at 40 degrees Celsius. I might have a chance to beat him because he needs one more stop and hopefully he will charge slow. But I'm not sure because <laughs> his car is actively cooling while he's charging. So the next stop for him might also be 27 kilowatts. I'm just, I have to try to get uh, 35 or 40 again but you see here I've been drafting behind this truck and it's making marvelous results I'm averaging 289 only I'm averaging 77 kilometers per hour so uh, hopefully I will get good charging speed uh, in s just 8 kilometers the Rena all right we just arrived to Lurton fast charger we are right here with the uh, I don't really remember I think it was 12 percent or 18 yeah something like that um, <laughs> but the thing is that the car the battery in the car it's pretty pretty hot right now you know it's at 40.2 degrees yeah all the nerds and geeks like me are watching the leaf spy on the live stream <laughs> while charge so yeah we are getting only 20 yeah 28 kilowatts of charging speed so the game is still on yeah Bjorn is behind me and you know he still have a chance but the other charger is occupied by eagle yeah he just arrived so uh, I don't know how far Bjorn is uh, behind me right now but uh, if he's if he wanted to ch charge here yeah then I will have to leave first or maybe the eagle will leave before we'll see oh, we are back at Rena no one is here that's good that's the good news now the bad news is that I checked the charging and we are charging at 29 kilowatt only mm. I was expecting 35 to almost 40 and we're getting only 29. The battery is still rapid gating. Um, I was getting 30 or 29 at the previous one. So at least it's consistent in that way. Powell is getting 28. So I'm charging barely faster than him right now. Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of cold outside. So not much to do right here. You see, we have Fedless Trip over there. I'm not sure what this is. 
and then we have some uh, type 2 over there and then well you see I park it so that if someone comes here with whatever car then they can always plug in here yeah so it's no big deal yeah okay I have the heater off because I don't want to suck any power so um, we have to juice up as fast as possible now yeah let me check, check again here so you see uh, uh, yeah seven and a half minutes 3.6 kilowatt hours Right, look at this. This is the this is the cargo area, right? And you notice something that we have a little bit of moisture in here, right, on the floor. But then this section here is dry, and this is where the battery pack is. So when I use the thermal camera, you can see that in the back here we have about minus fifteen, like it should be. But look here, whoa, minus eight. The pack is hot and it's under here. So maybe I should keep the door open while I'm charging <laughs> to cool down stuff. But then uh, you see we have some vents there, so the, the coal will also get into the car a little bit. Not too much, but this might be a better idea for me to try to cool down and everything. But some people suggested that I throw in some snow here, but I think that's a bad idea. We could we get moist and crap in here, but wow the pack is hot and I, I also measure it again now that um, the speed has dropped dramatically we are down to about 24 and 26 kilowatts I'm, I'm charging slower than power right now see average now is about 27 ish for the whole session it was 29 now it's down to 27 this is bad news for me all right we are on the move again yeah um and I see that we have a semi in front of us. I'm trying to catch the semi. It's driving fairly fast though. I'm doing about 85 kilometers per hour and I can barely catch up with the semi. But I, tr I have to try to catch him because uh, then I can draft on him. I say him, it, it might be a woman also driving it. We are now on a slow stretch between Elverum and Lut. And uh, I have to go for Lurton. I tried, I checked out uh, the fast charger at uh, Elvedum. This is a really stressful stop. Uh, but it has the tritium charger with two short cable. So, yeah, Lurton is the only option right now. And uh, right now it's available, both of them. So um, we are uh, 6.4 kilometers away. But we are driving really slow. So I hope the car will, char will cool down enough. So I can get some decent speed over there. Oh. All right, we are at Nebunes charging station and topping up before the finish line at IKEA. Uh, you know, we arrived here with 43% state of charge, so I'm pretty sure I could easily make it to uh, the finish line at IKEA with no charging here. But uh, I have pretty big advantage right now, so I thought, let's play it safe. Let's top up for 10 minutes at uh, Nebunes. And look here, we are looking at the supercharger. Oh, nice. We are cooking the battery at 43.9 degrees, yeah. So we are receiving only f uh, 20 22.5 kilowatts I think let's check one more time yeah 22.5 kilowatts and we are at 44 degrees the car is on and trying to cool down the battery pack so uh, yeah it will not overheat anymore <laughs> Oof, we are now at Lurton it was lucky I got here right before the ionic so yeah he can park there it is fine yeah uh, <laughs> so i'm juicing up and i have to use all the dirty tricks right now so i open up the door and hopefully it will cool down so i haven't checked the thermal camera but uh, this section here is you know i can actually feel it's not that cold versus over here so anything helps right now because it seems like the leaf checks temperature once you plug in and then it was set the maximum uh, speed but here for the golf and the uh, um, e-crafter 
it will constantly monitor the temperature. And what happened was that I, I got worse uh, charging speed towards the end. So we just left Lurton and we're going for our last charging stop, Nebenes. Powell was there earlier. <laughs> wow, this is Friday traffic. It's uh, 7.30 and still a lot of traffic. So I have to gamble that uh, uh, Nebenes will be available for me once I get there in about 45 minutes. But Powell is close to Oslo. Uh, I have to do another half an hour to 40 minute charging stop before I'm home. I'm back in Ikea. So uh, right now it seems like Powell is actually more than one hour ahead of me. Uh, it might be one and a half in the end there. Wow, shit. Right here's Cool Bridge. Yeah. Now we are entering the Autobahn, yeah, Norwegian Autobahn. So um, consumption has been pretty high. Ooh, 309, 308. So I will try to find a truck to drive behind. That's the fastest way for me to get back home now. Don't want Pavel to wait too long. He must wait about one and a half hours for me. We are now on E6 and I just found a semi to drive behind, but this semi is crazy, it's some Danish truck driver. I'm already cruising at maximum speed there. It's, it's set, the cruise control is set to 100, the speed is allowed to 95, uh, which the true speed is about 80, 89 or something. And I can barely keep up with this truck. This truck is really hammering it. <laughs> wow. But my consumption is okay, I guess it's 29, I mean it's 290, so yeah, it's not too bad, but I'm traveling faster right now, so that's good. Victory, oh yes, <laughs> we arrived at IKEA Furuset with 29% state of charge. Um, yeah, it's the gums at 70 kilometers left. So. Bjorn, it's about one hour and 15 minutes away from here. Um, he needs to top up at Nebenas as well. And I'll be just standing here at IKEA and charge uh, the ENV 200 to the top again, I guess. So uh, Bjorn can make mo more tests and stuff <laughs> with it tomorrow, I guess. So yeah. The live stream is watching Leaf Spy. <laughs> oh, I love this. We are juicing up. Uh, let me see if I can try to zoom in. I think we should be able to see the charging screen there. We arrived at 14%. Now we are at 18. So I uh, calculated that we are charging at uh, 26 kilowatt. That's a good start, but then it will drop towards the end. But I, I estimate that we have to stay here for about uh, at least 40 minutes maybe even 45 minutes but you see no one is here this is good it's uh, 8 15 we are the power went to ikea half an hour ago <sighs> so um not much to do i don't want to go outside even you guys have seen nebenes before so uh, over there we have the superchargers yeah i don't want to go outside i'm just staying in here keep the heat in here we have live stream i'm going to chat with the live stream people and uh, let me show you here last stop is ikea 54 kilometers from here the previous leg was 61 kilometers this is 54 all right let me just do this this is pretty smooth i like it uh, okay see 54 kilometers and if you look here that was the previous leg I drafted behind a truck. I have to also draft behind a truck on the next leg here. It seems to be a good deal. Um, and then uh, here for the whole trip, we have, uh, let me adjust here a little bit, 400 kilometers so far, <laughs> 311 watt hour per kilometer. And we started at 11. So we've been on the road for nine hours. This is just, I don't know what the heck, uh, why it's not nine hours total. Hmm. Oh yeah, I switch off the car. Every time I switch off the car, it doesn't count. But it counts when the car is on. Oh, yes, um, I calculated that 70% could be safe. I don't want to take more charging stops, uh, but um, 
actually it's snowing so uh, just to be sure I charge to 75% and then we don't have to make more charging stop because each charging stop takes time I calculated we wasted half an hour on charging stops all these detours so you see you find that 75% it took 52 minutes Ugh. yes now let's go home uh, to IKEA Okay, we are on the move for the last time, uh, getting close to Garden Moon. Consumption is uh, 318, somewhat high, but uh, I found a truck to drive behind. So uh, it's only minus one degree Celsius here. But this truck helps a lot for drafting. And that means I can travel faster. It seems like I, I drive at 90 kilometers per hour now and I have the same consumption I have driving at 66 without the truck in front so time wise it's, it's better because I just want to get back to uh, Ikea soon uh, Powell has been waiting one and a half hours now Oof. oh the truck left me uh, oh well at least I have a nice view now We're getting close to Oslo and uh, seems like the, the high, well, high ish temperature, you see, it's around zero degrees Celsius. It's making wonders for the consumption, so I can cruise at 90 kilometers per hour. I have 40 kilometers left of Dom and 15 kilometers to go. So, yeah, this is what you have to do. Uh, first, take it easy, and then when you see that you can make it, then you can speed up. Oh yes, we are finally here! Allah! <laughs> Two hours later than Pavel! <laughs> but it's great fun though, great fun indeed! Finally, the e-crafter has arrived! <laughs> what a race! Oh man! Yeah, now he has to plug it in luckily uh, this spot is uh, free so he can just use up all the space for himself <laughs> all right i'm finally back in Oslo. <laughs> yeah 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 okay yeah i i ate some meatballs you had uh, meatballs in there no no i just okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i was inside and uh, ate so, a little bit i arrived two hours after Powell <laughs> according to my ninja calculations which are usually spot on yes they are yeah, yeah. on the other races I've been calculating really? and they were spot on now I missed by one hour and 15 minutes mm. on the calculation mm -hmm. and the reason is that I rapid gated yeah because you know when you rapid gated uh, where, where was it was it uh, Copa? Uh, yes, that was yeah, the Copa. Yeah, thirty-four. Um, that was no surprise. Yeah. But that you replicated, <laughs> that was a surprise. Because when you replicated at Kopang yeah. at thirty-four kilowatt, I was yeah. like, yes, I can make <laughs> <Finally>. it. <laughs> and then I also replicated, and yeah. it was worse and worse and worse. It was just a down spiral for me. Yeah. So, you know, it seems like once this van replicates, then it cannot recover. It's really hard to recover, just like the leaf. Mm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So, um, and I think it's a little bit because of the speed li limitation here as well, you know, each time I passed 90 kilometers per hour mm -hmm. in my car, mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, I'm driving away from Björn now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it helps. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I knew I was going to lose this one, but it was just a matter of how much. And at one moment, I had it. I mean, I think I could have beaten you. If I didn't rapid gate, yeah. If yeah, I was getting yeah. constant 35, uh, 38 kilowatts, yeah. <sighs> It'd be, yeah. The the charging in my car really dropped down. Yeah, it got really slow. <laughs> Mine too. I was charging without heater on, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, but you know what? Um, you guys might be thinking these are crap cars. No, they are not. They mm -hmm. are perfect for the free, for the purpose yeah I, I, I'm tell, I was telling this, this thing all the time yeah while I was driving in my car as well because what do you think about the ENV 200 it's perfect for a large city yeah uh, where you don't drive so 
far and so fast. Plumbers so, and uh, yeah, carpenters. Yeah. So I mean the cabin noise doesn't matter because yeah. you will be not driving it in 150. Yeah, that's right. You're just in the city, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and you have tools with you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a perfect delivery guy car or some small and, business car but it has only 107 109 horsepower yeah but it's nippy you know from yeah. zero to something yeah it's real nippy it's really nimble right? yeah it is yeah but from like 80 and up it's like a fossil car. yeah yeah uh but but and you see the thing about uh, the envy 200 is it's not very premium yeah but this thing here <gasps> The, the e crafter is so nice. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. German finish, better seats, better steering wheel, yeah. better stereo, all the good shit in here. Mm -hmm. Except for the charge board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please make it in front. But you know, you guys might be thinking, no, this is so bad. But think about it this car, this van was made for local distribution where most people drive it about 50 to maybe 100 kilometers per day. Yeah. And where do they drive? And this is wind. This is really harsh winter. So, if it was in in Frankfurt or wherever, yeah, uh, milder weather, then you can easily drive hundred kilometers in a day. Yeah, and it takes so much cargo. So in comparison, okay, I average three hundred watt time per kilometer, right? Mm. Roughly three hundred ish, uh, and I can take ten cubic meter. <laughs> Optimus Prime with trailer. <laughs> Average is 400 watt per kilometer, yeah. and it can take only three, four, three cubic, four. yeah, yeah with four. a car, yeah, uh, four, yeah, yeah. So way more storage here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys always ask me, hey, you should try a full car, try the loaded car. I don't think it matters too much. Okay, the in consumption will go up, but the main problem with this car is drag. Yeah. So as long as you're driving in the city, okay, you have a little bit of weight, so. Yes, more weight will reduce the range, but it's not going to half the range. It no, might no. reduce the range by. I, I think the cars 10, will be 20. probably a little bit heavier, heavier, yeah. less comfortable to drive. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I don't think it will ruin the efficiency. No. But it was great fun. Yeah, yeah. it was really fun race. Yeah. yeah, yeah it so was. Thank congratulations! You very much. <laughs> <laughs> I lost big yeah. time this time, but it was so much fun. We had the nice weather and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. awesome. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Follow up uh, next time, next race. Do you know what that's going to be? No, I don't know. <laughs> it will be a Nissan versus a Volkswagen again. All right, all right. Rematch. Okay, okay. You uh, drive the Golf. The e Golf, yeah, yeah. I yeah, drive yeah. Uh, the the Leaf. Yeah. But this time Nissan is keen on doing this. They want to ah. fit 16 inch on it. And we're going to do okay. Esterdorn. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Saturday <laughs> this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to win one well. time now. <laughs> so anyway, I think uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so. you very much. Thank you for you know getting the cars and, and everything. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you for joining me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.